Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. My name is Beth and I have a journal obsession. This is my time and space to journal, whether it's to be with paper, paint, stickers, tape, or some other found object. I like creating worlds in my journaling and it's a form of learning for me also. I love learning by journaling. Currently, I'm creating and learning the world of shells. Let's see where that takes me. Hello, hello. I did make a video yesterday because we have a new family member. We got home, I guess, about four o'clock yesterday afternoon. And, yeah, I guess it was about four. We had to go northeast of Charlotte. It was about a two and a half hour drive, closer to three actually. Um, We think we're going to name him, his name, he came with the name Gunner, which is really cute, even though I'm an anti-gun person, but yeah, I think it's cute when these tiny little dogs have macho names. And I don't think he knows his name at all yet. Um, he's two months old, which is a little young to be removed from his mother from my past experience but they seem to think it's fine he's weaned completely um he doesn't seem to be like missing puppies and buddies and mommies and things like that so we're assuming these people which is a pretty i think they're a broker for puppies um because Five people got dogs while we were there, but they're all very healthy, very well documented, very well shot. They give you a care package to go, which has got some vitamins and probiotics and uh, suggestions to do if the dog is nauseous or not eating properly. And um, his shot records, his first set of shots and the chip that's already, I mean, they're on top of it, um, for sure. I think instead of my husband going to law school, he should have got in the puppy business because while we were there for a half an hour, these guys made $20,000, let's just say. Anyhow, um, not from us, solely, the whole group of us, but, uh, he seems to be very sweet, very smart, very alert. He has not pottied in the house yet. We take him outside about once an hour and he's gone every single time. He goes right out on the grass and goes both one and two. Um, he's, he's done super. He is a little nauseous, but I think it's from, cause he got a shot the day before on Thursday. His I, um, one part of the shots and oh they gave us deworming medicine um, he's already been started on and a three and a half a three hour car ride I think was a little hard on him tummy wise he threw up in the car well in a blanket and then he threw up at home here and then he's done a bunch of dry heaving stuff and we just gave him his first bowl of food Besides dry kibble with all the stuff in it, probiotics and a little bit of baby food. They have this concoction they want you to give them for the first 30 days that they've been giving him. He threw it all up. <laughs> but I think that's because um, he is still a little nauseous. So I'm not too concerned yet. Um, I printed off a bunch of stuff since I'm here with our printer here that's a little bit de more decent and I made a little bit of paper and I, these that I was cutting I'm in love with those little tiny tablets I made my own I was gonna order another one off of another site on Etsy I'm like hold on I'm just gonna make my own I just took borders of 
previous things that I've made on Procreate, like this or this, and added them to colors, browns. Now our printer is not, I'm using cheap ink, cheaper ink. Ink is expensive here. It's like $35 for one little cartridge that lasts about 18 pictures. But I printed about four different colors and I printed them a couple times. So I'm gonna use those. And I painted, this is what I started yesterday, but we got sidetracked by a dog. His name is going to be, this is off a TV character who is a, uh, the TV show was helping um, the establishment of the railroads here in the United States. And well, transcontinental, is that what it's called? From, ocean, from East Coast to West Coast and c attaching all those. And this character, this was right after the Civil War, and he was a Civil War or a Confederate soldier, and um, that was very troubled about what he was doing. And his wife was killed by Yankees, Northern soldiers. And um, anyhow, his name is Cullen Bohannon, and we just love. We always we've watched this series a couple times, and my husband's rewatching it right now. I think it's on Netflix. I don't know where it was. It was on one of those things. And um, I just think this is, and we call him Bo. His name came with Gunner. I don't want people to think I'm a pro-gun person because I'm completely the opposite. But, and he doesn't know his name. So his name is going to be Cullen Gunner. Bohannon after this TV character and call him Bo, which is a very Southern name for sure. And it kind of is associated with big Southern brave dudes of any generation. And um, he's only three pounds, 3.5 pounds. So, I mean, I have to measure his dog food with a quarter of a measuring cup. <laughs> Half? an eighth of a cup of this and a half a teaspoon of this and anyhow he's very sweet he's beautiful um i'm gonna try to remember to put a couple pictures he's not very um good with the camera yet he moves as soon as i find it and try to take a picture of him he moves anyhow uh he's really sweet um I think he knows me. He slept through the night. Um, we had him in a crate. And I took him out. I woke up about 2. Took him out. He went back to sleep. And then I got up about 5.30. And took him out again. And he was good. Um, really sweet. He's a little frisky. He's getting a little acclimated. Uh... He's already got a couple toys, a sock, and a shoelace, and then these little things to chew on for his little sharp baby teeth. Um, let's see, let's use these. And he's a keeper. <laughs> the place was beautifully clean and in a beautiful setting and a little bit of the northern northeast side of Charlotte is super uh, farm country immediately out of Charlotte proper um, and Lake Norman is a big lake up there per, pretty close to our size I think and um, then this farm country is right next to it so the city has not expanded into this part of the outskirts of Charlotte. It's still pretty country and oh my gosh, we saw the biggest, biggest cow, bull, whatever, longhorn, Texas longhorn cow with the biggest set of horns I've ever seen. I swear they were like nine feet across. No exaggeration. They were huge. Like how does that thing walk but there was a lot of farms and a lot of um, 
there was a, some kind of little private zoo we passed. But it was about 10, 15 miles northeast of Charlotte where we got them. And uh, really, really nice people. And they've already sent me several emails. How's he doing? You know, don't forget to do this. And don't forget to register his chip. And I'm like, yep, 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 yep. And I think they put that in on him on Thursday. So that might have been a little traumatic too. And all the changes. So he's had a little bit of a drama in early in his little life so far. Oh dear. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do today. But I painted, you saw me paint this. This was white thin white paint on a book page and then I took my gouache my Carondash gouache set which I really like and just painted seashell colors very bright and now I don't know what I'm going to do and I don't even know what I'm going to talk about I'm, oh I do know I think I'm going to I think in brown because it'll show up on these colors these big seashells that I got that are unmounted Let's see how that works Oh, yeah. Okay, answer me this, Curti, if you know. Our friends had gotten the first series, the first section of the shot early this, or maybe last week, and neither one of them felt good at the beginning of this week and went and got tested and they got the results and they are both positive. Now, is that from the stuff in the shot? Or could they be positive after getting, or they already had it before they got the vaccine? I don't know. Now she has not done any, she's a Trump supporter um, uh, and a nurse, <laughs> retired nurse. And she doesn't believe that she believes there's a virus, but she doesn't believe it's as dangerous as everybody thinks. Um, so she's been out and about a lot. They eat out a lot. She's been out, I would say, at least every day somewhere. Pretty close to the whole time. Um, their son lives with them. And his office, he's a geologist, and his office asked them, him to please not come in. <laughs> he told them, because he's above and beyond honest, for sure, which is good. And they said, please don't come in. We don't know the circumstances, neither do you, and we would prefer you not to come in for two weeks. Or at least till you test negative. He has not been tested yet. So... How are they so and she was supposed to be coming down to the beach yesterday with a bunch of ladies and have a bunch of sewing and crafting and good times this is the same group that we went to Ireland with and um they're that's been canceled <laughs> they're all Trump supporters but there is they're all believing that there is a virus and now we need to take caution um But it's like, how did they get it? Unless they had it before their shot. My sister got her shot. She had a little bit of arm pain. She said a little bit of tinging and heat. She could feel the heat like that day. She said she was never nauseous. She did not have, she said she had a tiny headache that night. 
but nothing she couldn't live without. And then she's been fine. Her arm still hurts a little bit, but she's like me. She's out of shape. <laughs> And tomorrow, today for you, is the second anniversary of my dad's passing. I thought it was last month, but I was wrong. It was March. I didn't think I calculated the days right. Okay, that I like. Just a little bit of brown stamping. I love those stamps. This I forgot to take to the beach. My sister's coming down this weekend, so I will have fun times with her. And my husband doesn't have to do some of the thought, stuff he thought he was going to have to do with his son this week. So he might be coming down too, which is fine for the weekend. Because I'm staying since my sister's coming and I'm not going to drive home and then come back for therapy. Or go back for therapy. Which, three hours in the car on Thursday and five hours in the car yesterday not done my foot any favors I have to really ice it and put some do some exercises for sure today and I forgot to even take my cane with me yesterday which I mean we we had to do social distancing at the dog um, kennel and they, you call them and they bring the dog outside and they have a sitting area on a front porch of the business that you can talk to the dogs and then they have a little grassy area you can let them run around and play in and um, see if they are cute and what you want and everything and uh, so and we were only there for about 45 minutes this is his little picture. He's so cute. And there's a filter on this. He's really brown and white. These beautiful markings. Okay. Now what am I going to do? Okay. I just did my journaling. And carbon dioxide reacts with salt water to form carbonic acid, which makes the ocean more acidic over time acidic salt water will dissolve mollusk shells and harm animals inside which in turn harms whole food chain climate change is real so talking about pollution and climate issues is not good for any of us and seashells included Okay, this is my distress crayons. Not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't ever have a plan, per se. I knew I wanted to talk about certain topics with this, like climate change and you know different kinds of. Um, uh oh, where's my other pen? different topics regarding seashells. The coral and the orange are really close in color. A little washi tape that I got at that scrapbook store. You know, oh, there's this. Oh, there's the glow.
I'm just trying to add color to this bright page. I need to organize my washi tape. There was a picture of Amy Tangerine's new little baby on Instagram the other day. Oh my gosh, she is the cutest little thing. She's got cute little dimples. She's like two months old or three months old maybe now. So she's starting to turn into a human. if I should color coordinate my washi tape. Kind of, oh, here's a good one. I think this is Jane Davenport washi tape. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of making little clusters of stuff. There goes the chainsaw. Some paint splotches. Hopefully that's not coming through the camera. Just kind of picking out like colors out of my washi tape drawers until something pops in my head. <laughs> we could be here all day, people. I can't be here all day. My dad, my my dad, my husband's on puppy duty. That's not gonna last very long. Plus, he's not very. But right now, the little guy's asleep. Bo is asleep. My stomach is growling. I'm crazy about the colors that are in here. One more little drawer. Let's see. Oh, this might work. some circles. I've gotten a couple circle punches. I have invested in some of those, which I'm going to take a bunch of my scraps and turn them into circle punches that I can glue places. I think this is Amy Tangerine washi tape right here. Pink leaves. Okay, now I have to come up with something. <sighs> the blue shells, these little tiny, little tiny ones, are kind of a sweet. But now where have they all gone? I cut out a couple. Here's one. I think I had three. Huh. I think one of them went back in the ocean. I do have a little pink and a little orange. I got a little seashell.
that because those lines blend with those lines pink blends with all of it and I could stamp on top of it with um, let's try the brown again getting a good stamp because it needs to be mounted and or done like that. that but it gives the illusion of shells right right I'm an illusion illusionist I'm not a journaler I'm an illusion illusionist that can't say illusion I think I'm just gonna do that and call it I might add something to it down the road Possibly. I could put ink on the outside edges of this. Part of it is torn and part of it is cut. I'm okay with that. Because these squares that I painted are kind of organic. all the time I'm going to be allowed to have on my break from puppy duty. <laughs> not liking, not disliking it, but it's rather boring needs one big ob object somewhere. Maybe I'll get some of these seashells out of that book and blow them up and add them. Add like one here and one here or something. We shall see. But so far, that's it. And I don't dislike it at all. Oh, you know what? Let's try something real quick. Sometimes you gotta walk away, lady. Ooh, now that 
that's an idea. Put a little color in the white. That helps. That helps a little bit. Okay, we're gonna stop. Thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted on the puppy.